Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, if I send you service back with another 1400 scale model review, and this time it is a really, really cool plane. It is the ANA Boeing 777-300ER in the Star Wars uh, BB-8 library. Um, yeah, I've been, I'm an idiot for never buying this plane when it originally first came out. I, mean, I know there's a couple of variations of it. I believe there's a Phoenix version of this, but um, this is the Aviation 400 one. Um, I'll have a backstory on how I got this and why I even have it, because I was technically never even supposed to have this, but um, I'll tell you how it happened. Um, but um, let's first go over the box. Get this out of the way. So we have a a Inspiration of Japan, the rendering of the aircraft, the rendering of BB-8 as well. Definitely a different box uh, than the other ones. Just a blue background. And yeah. Oh, let's move the box out of the way for right now. But um, the reason I have this plane is because um, I'm sure quite a few Wait, a few of you are well aware of the Avianca A320 that I just got. Um, so I had an issue with it getting delivered to me, and it wound up just, like, not getting delivered anywhere to where I live. And I contacted the retailer who I would talk to, tried to contact FedEx, um, and not really, didn't really get any help from it. So I said, all right, I'm just going to bite the bullet. I'm just going to buy another one. Uh, bought another one, and then not even two days later... Um, get a message on Facebook Messenger and saying, oh, was this you with this package? And so I wound up getting delivered um, down the street from me. And um, yeah, so I wound up having an extra Avianca. So I traded this plane with my great, really good friend, um, CLT Aviation 13. Um, he had an extra one of these. And um, yeah, we just traded for them. And so now I have this uh, great plane. Um, because I originally asked him if he just wanted the, the extra Avianca because I didn't need it. And then that's when he uh, offered to have, asked if I wanted this. So I think it was a pretty good deal on both ends. But I'm just really grateful to have this and, and have him for that. Um, but all right, let's start up front. You have the cockpit windows with the Star Alliance logo a little bit lower. Because obviously you probably can't have it with the silver and gray stripes right there. You got the BB-8 markings. The GE90 engines. And then you get the Star Wars logo with the ANA logo as well, the inspiration of Japan. And then you get the really nice looking ANA tail, uh, the two tone tail. You just like the darker than lighter blue right there. Then you have the Japanese flag with, with the registration Julia Alpha 789 Alpha. to the top of the plane. Um, I believe all Japanese aircraft have the red dot here. Um, I know it's part of the flag. Um, and then you have the registration again. Go to the other side. You have the forward cargo door. And then you have the aft cargo door with the bulkhead door here as well. Apologize for the um, sniffling. I got allergies are killing up here right now. Um, news gear doors up there. Stand hole. Main gear doors. I'm trying to get that fuzz out for there. Um, we have registration as well again. But yeah, this is the um, this is my first aviation um. 400 777 that I have. Um, I, I have an Aviation 400 um, World Airways Cargo 747 100 or 200. Um, I have one of them, but not many Aviation 400 models in my collection. But, um, this one's a really just... This is just a fantastic plane. They, they, they did a great job on this one. Um, but as always, um, we'll go over some information real quick about the aircraft. Um, the one sad thing is this is no longer in this library. I believe it's painted in a regular library now. 
But um, it makes sense. Um, they've had this plane, I believe, it first came out in 2015, I want to say, when um, Force Awakens came out. And they've had it all throughout. I believe it got repainted in 2020 or 2021 or something, or maybe 2022. It, it, they had it on, on the aircraft for a while. Um, but um, A&A did a, quite a lineup of the Star Wars planes. They had a uh, R2-D2, uh, 767. No, it wasn't R2-D2, 767. Um, it was... Because R2-D2 D2 was on the 787. It was another BB-8 version on the 767. A uh, R2-D2 on a 787. And then uh, a C-3PO on a 777200. Um, but obviously we'll go over some history real quick. And some information about a and um, Their main hubs of course are in Tokyo Haneda and Tokyo Narita. With secondary hubs in Osaka. Um, two, of the, two Osaka airports looks like. Um, Kans, Kansai and Itami. I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that. Um, and then Focus Cities and Naoga, Naha, Sapporo, and I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize, and I don't want to completely butcher that up. Um, but anyway. Uh, they have 13 777 300s in their fleet, which are extremely, extremely premium heavy. Um, I was kind of shocked to see how, with the seating capacity on these things. Um, so it looks like they got eight first class seats. Well, I should say there's two versions of this. So the first one has eight first class seats, 68 business, 24 premium economy, and 112 regular economy. And then they have another version of the same eight first class. 64 business, uh, 24 premium economy, and 116 regular economy, both equaling only 212 seats on the 777-300. So I did not realize how premium heavy these um, 777-300s are in their fleet. Um, to give you a comparison, their uh, 767-300s seat 202. So... And their domestic um, configurations are 270 seats. Um, so it's pretty pretty crazy how uh, kind of just business heavy this is. Because um, from the seat map, it looks like um, the premium economy extends pretty much all the way down to the end of the wing route. So like pretty much from where my finger's at to the right here is all premium but uh, premium and then like, just this back here is just regular economy and that's kind of kind of crazy honestly <laughs> but um but yeah i think that's gonna wrap it up for this video um yeah i really got if you can find it i really do highly recommend it just a great looking plane um i wish i was able to get this recorded and have it uploaded yesterday for uh, may the 4th um, but one day late, um, it is what it is, but, um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, um, stay tuned for some more videos, and I will see you all in the next one.